When I last left this project, I left myself a to-do item to get rid of duplication between a class called user and a class called gem user. So the, the gem user class is one that evolved early on when I was developing the client side of this app. And it basically exists to encapsulate the concept of the user of a gem on the client side of this interaction. And it supports one method, endorse gem, which just directly calls upon the server-side API. The user class is a server-side database-backed class, which I introduced more recently, and uh, it represents users, obviously, on the server-side. It has properties for login and for a client key, which clients will use to authenticate themselves to the server. Now, when I first found that I had two classes with the name user in them, I thought that maybe I would need to merge them somehow. I need to come up with a user class that combined these responsibilities. Um, but the more I look at the gem user class, the more I think that I actually don't want to call this gem user at all. There may eventually be a place in this application for a client side representation of a user specifically. But I think for right now, what I really want to do is keep the client to be a, just a really thin wrapper over the services provided by the server. So I think what may, might make sense here is rather than calling this thing a gem user, maybe what I should do is call this class simply client. So today I'm going to refactor this class. I start out by copying the definition of the class. Now note that I say I copy it. I don't say that I cut it out. I want to keep the application working throughout this refactoring. So I'm going to start out with a copy and paste. And then when I know I have the pasted code updated and working again, that's when I'll switch over to using it. I paste the code that I've copied into a file called client.rb. And then I do a global rename in that file from gem user to client, which turns out to only rename one thing. Next, I go find the tests for this class and I rename the file that they're in and then rename all the references from gem user to client. I also need to update the require line. Then I see if this rename test passes, and I find that it does. Then I check to see if all tests are still passing, and they are. But remember, we haven't actually switched over to using this new code yet. We've just copied and pasted it. My next step is to find the place in love command that uses gem user and switch it to use client. I also have to, have to add a require. I run all tests once again to make sure that this hasn't broken anything, and it has not. So now, now that I've switched over to using the new version, I'm going to go down here to the old version, which hitherto had been slumming inside the, uh, the same file as love command, and I'm going to remove it. Run all tests one more time, and they're still passing. So I've refactored this code to use gemlove client instead of a class called gemuser. So now I only have one user-related class in my system, and I went through the whole refactoring, keeping the tests green the whole time. So I feel pretty good about that. I can now knock that item off my to-do list and move on to the next one. But I'll do that one in another episode. Happy hacking!